Today, equivalence relations made easy. Here's the questions that I'll be going through today. So here's our first question. And we just need to start by understanding what we mean by relation. Uh, so let's use some real numbers. So let's take A equals 5.2 and B equals 3.2. And what we notice is that 5.2 minus 3.2 is equal to 2, which is an integer. So 5.2 is related to 3.2, and we give it that symbol. On the other hand, 4.1 minus 2.0 is equal to 2.1, which is not an integer. So 4.1 is not related to 2.0. So that's how relations work. The question, or the questions that were asked are, are things equivalence relations? So how do we show equivalence relations? Well, we have to show that a relation has three attributes. It has to be reflexive, it has to be symmetric, and it has to be transitive. So let's work through the first question, and uh, we will go through those three steps. So. Firstly, we need to show that it's reflexive, and we need to show that A is related to A. A is related to itself. So let's do that in this case. Suppose A is an element of R, then A minus A equals zero, which is an integer. So A is, in fact, related to A. The next thing that we need to show is that if A is related to B, then B is related to A. And we say then that the relation is symmetric. So let's go and prove that. So we start off, we just say, suppose A and B are elements of the real numbers. And now we just do a proof. Uh, we start with what we know, we end up with what we need to show, and in the, min in the middle, we just sort of show how to go. So let's do that. So we start with if A is related to B, then A minus B is equal to C, which is an element of Z. That's important. If A is related to B, then the difference has to be an integer. Then we say, so B minus A must equal negative C, which is also an integer, and therefore B is related to A. Finally, we need to show that if A is related to B and B is related to C, then A is related to C. And you probably would have seen this in high school as transitivity. So let's do the proof of that. Suppose A, B, C are elements of R. If A is related to B and B is related to C, then A minus B equals E, which is an integer, and B minus C equals F, which is an element of Z. So A minus C is equal to A minus B plus B minus C, which is equal to E plus F, which also must be an element of Z. It must be an integer. And so therefore, A is related to C. And then we just finish up by saying thus, the relation is an equivalence relation. I've put this second question in because it's important to realise that sometimes these problems are expressed not in terms of numbers but more in terms of real life things. So this is the second question and we just need to go through the three criteria to show that it's an equivalence relation. And because it's a real life problem I've, I've done the proof in a, a slightly more um, easygoing style. Um, you'll get some guidance from your lecturers and tutors as to whether this would be acceptable. I'd certainly accept it as a, as a proper solution. So suppose A, B and C are any three people. A has the same birthday as A, so that's the reflexivity. If A has the same birthday as B, then B has the same birthday as A, that's the symmetry. And then finally we put if A has the same birthday as B and B has the same birthday as C, then A has the same birthday as C, that's the transitivity. And so then we can conclude by writing, therefore birthday relation is an equivalence relation. Okay, now let's go on to the third question. And I'll put this in because sometimes you'll be asked to prove that something is not an equivalence relation. And in this case, we're going to work through the three criteria and work out which one or more of them uh, enables us to 
prove what we need to prove. So if I was doing this question, I'd start by just playing around a little bit. So I just uh, look at re reflexivity first. And I'd say, well, if I make a number, say, say A equals 5.1, well, 5.1 less 5.1 is zero. In other words, the distance from A to itself is zero, which is clearly less than one. And that's gonna be the same for any A. So I'm not gonna get much joy out of reflexivity. What about symmetry? Well, I've just picked two random numbers, 5.1, 5.9, that are reasonably close. I see that the difference, the distance is 0.8, which is less than one. And if I change it around the other way, well, the distance doesn't change, or if you like, the absolute value uh, function doesn't, doesn't care whether it's A minus B or B minus A. We still get 0.8, and that will also be less than one. So I think I'm gonna find it difficult to put a symmetry argument together to prove that that the relation is not an equivalence relation. So it's probably gonna be transitivity. So let's have a look at that. By playing around with some numbers, I can find an A and a B that satisfy the relation, a B and a C that satisfy the relation, but A and C won't. So what I've got here is A equals five, B equals 5.6, C equals 6.4. And I've picked these numbers so that A is related to B because the absolute value of A minus B is 0.6, which is less than one. The absolute value of B minus C is 0.8, which is less than one. So B is related to C, but you can see that the distance from C to A is 1.4, and that's not less than one. So now we can just write that up a little bit more formally in the solution, which you can see here. And we just close by saying, so the relation is not transitive, and hence it is not an equivalence relation. That's it for equivalence relations made easy. I hope you found it useful.